Hello guys and welcome back to new tutorial. This is Ketul Patel and today we are going to see that how we can control a LED by Google Assistant using Node MCU, Adafruit and IFTT technologies. So this is an IoT based tutorial. So let's start the tutorial. So first we will uh, see how to connect your node MCU with your LED. So first uh, consider this is your node MCU and this is your D7 pin and this is your ground pin. So find D7 pin and a ground pin on your node MCU. Connect the ground uh, of the LED to the ground. So uh, to identify the ground it will be smaller than your another pin so your uh, so if this is your LED then the smaller cut will be your ground and this will be your data pin or you can see your input serial input so connect it so this is how you have to connect your LED with your node MCU so if you want to purchase node MCU the links are in description you can go and purchase the node MCU version which I am using it's the latest one now uh, you need to go to io.adafruit.com and make an account on it the link for it is in the description it is simple make your account on it and go to ifttt.com the links again are in description and make the account with your google account now what you have to do is first uh, when you log into your io.adafruit.com this is the dashboard you will going to see so go to the fits option click on action and create a fit name it as on off name same which i am naming it here don't change the name uh, keep it in caps on off create it so you can see a fade is created here now again go to action and click on create a fade and create a, another fade that would name it as light status light status so l capital s capital l of light capital and s of status capital it's lights capital created so uh, your io dot adafruit is now fully configured or means what we need we have created here now we need to create our uh, google assistant service which will be called through ifttt ifttt is basically if this then that so it is basically like if you are calling a led command then it will perform the led command so it is simply like your if else statement so this is how you will get uh, your dashboard after logging into IFTTT. Now click on new applet. Uh, so you will find this in blue color and with a plus sign. So click on this. Now search for Google Assistant. So you will find Google Assistant here. Click on it. So here uh, you will find four different options. So now uh, click on the first one which is say a simple phrase click on it so now here it will ask for multiple field so what do you want to say now let's suppose we want to say on LED to on my LED so uh, write on LED here uh, this are the another way to say uh, we don't want so what uh, do you want the assistant to say in response so this is what google will say you in response so let's say that okay i will on the LED. click the uh, select the language as english and click on create trigger uh, so here you can see that if google assistant is created then what so now click on that option Now here search for Adafruit. 
So here, yes, it is Adafruit. Send data to Adafruit. You will find the option which will be send data to Adafruit. So it will load your feeds which we have created here. So here you can see that there are two fields. So click on on off field and data to save is on. So just click create action. So you can see that your uh, LED on option is created. Now again go to my applets. So here you will find your uh, created applet now again you need to perform this task so click on new applet again click on this go to google assistant say a simple phrase now this time we will say of led and google will reply okay i will of the led Again language English and create the trigger. Again go to that option, search for Adafruit, click send data on off and here now it's off. Create the action. So now here you, you can see in the applets that your on LED and off LED uh, Google Assistant is created. Now let's see the code that what code will actually uh, we will work on. So go to your Arduino ID. If you don't know how to set up your uh, Arduino ID for Node MCU, you can see my previous video. The links are in description. So here it will ask for your Wi-Fi SSID. So it will be the name of your Wi-Fi at your home or your hotspot name or your router Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. Here it will be your MQTT name which will be uh, you getting from uh, Adafruit. So go to io.adafruit here when you will click on view IO keys you will find your username just copy it and paste it here and here down you will find your active key. So just place your active key here in mqtt underscore pass so here you can see that uh, here we have created the adafruit mqtt subscribe on off which we have created on off if you want to change the name of your field you also need to change the name here to and your name here to which is light status and the uh, this code is uploaded on my github id the links are in description you can go and download this code from my github so let's see the demo how actually it will work 